Uh, this is the third white in a row. I'm going to go with d4 again and see uh, if we're going to still get into uh, lines from the World Championship. I've been learning a lot because uh, by reviewing those games, I do try to be as exact as possible with the things I'm sharing because I know it does end up reaching quite a few people when I upload. But um, well, even if that wasn't the case, I just... I'm kind of like that. I just really want to make sure everything I'm saying is accurate. And uh, I'm, I'm learning things al along the way when I'm doing that. So we are in game two and game four. How might, if we still follow suit here. No, we didn't have that. F3, I already know. Um, I uh, looked over this with the computer. I know that F3 is a strong reply. And uh, now this is something I was uh, emphasizing in that game. This, uh, qu If the bishop does come out early, this idea of taking and then queen b3. So why am I not doing it right away? I already, I already did my homework on this line. I should just be rattling those moves off quicker. Let's go. Troublesome for black now. Sometimes there'll be a situation where the knight could play to c6 and after queen takes knight b4 looking at c2, but with this pawn still not moved, there is not that uh, possibility. So what do you do here? I think I could play g4, g5, and then take on this square. Bishop b5 is just met with knight c6. I don't know if that's really accomplishing a whole lot. G4 is heading in the direction of taking on D5 and then being up upon and welcoming a queen exchange. So what am I getting at? Let's go here. G4. A very committal move, but it will earn me a pawn. And uh, I believe what is very close to just being uh, a queen trade as well. So let's see. What's the scoop here? What is that scoop? Hmm. Well, I don't know what to suggest for black. They might be considering, let's say, some uh, minor piece sacrifice, but uh, that's not really working. You know, if if that's being chewed on right now, something bishop or knight takes and queen takes one of the pieces ending up on this square. I, was, I still have queen takes b7 or queen takes d5, and uh, it's, I think it's trouble in every variation for black. Okay. Deep think. My opponent is tanking right here. Think tanking. Um I don't I my uh my thought is just bishop g6, but uh maybe Something else is being considered. I really don't know. Or, or how about this? No, bishop, bishop e6 defends the pawn. It's very awkward for this guy's development. But maybe that was actually best. Why am I thinking bishop g6? Bishop here. I guess that's the way to uh, maintain the d5 pawn. And yeah, maybe that should have been played. Is there something I could do instead of just this? h4 threatens a trapping of this bishop. I think, however, after h4, there's just h6, and the bishop is saved, and I can't do g5 anymore. So my rook would be hanging after a pawn capture, so I think it's just this. g5. There's no knight move here. This pawn's watching over. e4 has to go to the edge or go home. Neither one is good. No good, no good solution from here on out, I don't think. As soon as that d-pawn is uh, no longer, I just have a move like e4, and it's just really showing, you know, the 
the advantage in the center that extra pawn is really showing so it's with the queen I believe that I should give I should be taking welcoming a queen exchange up a pawn she can't go too far if she goes to the c file might as well pre move this she goes to the c5 bishop d2 and rook to c1 okay I'm okay with this exchange I'm okay with most exchanges at this point I might want to not play e4 because it does allow for a knight move to f4 at some point hmm about just bishop here castle what is black's most annoying piece Hmm. See, if I play here, there's bishop to d6. Um, I really just want to keep this really clean here. I just, I'm up a pawn. I want to keep, keep it clean. Avoid complications. How can I avoid complications? Knight here. Knight to g3. It's just so I could get this move in. Seems like he's not doing anything right now, but I really would like to get this structure in to stop this bishop from seeing things. And then I have a good spot for my dark square bishop. I'm going to give that a shot. I'd be quite all right with the double G pawns because my uh, rook comes to life if that happens. I also have to watch out for eight, the H file opening up. With my pawn on g5, there could be h6, and this rook can start to have an influence. So I'd like to avoid that, maybe. What else? I guess bishop d6, rook to c8, bishop e7. Okay, I guess fearing a knight b5 move. Did I have that available? Could that have caused uh, black an inconvenience? I think, yeah, I guess it could have, but... I think this is fine too. I'm okay. I'm not thinking at all about uh, kingside castle. A king on f2 is fine, especially if bishop d6 is played. I'll just go king f2, and then uh, I'll look into knight take. Okay, now I have the h file. Okay, my knight's pinned, but uh, I'm not too concerned about that. I think this is the way to go here. Or you know what? No, let me just break that pin right away. I'll reserve this pawn's move. Could even look into f4. Just stops this e5 break. And ooh, you know what I want to avoid? Opposite color bishops. How can I avoid opposite color bishops? Pawn push. Yeah, let's let's shut that down. I'm looking for a3 next. Maybe I don't know if this is the cleanest approach. Um, now it's not going to be opposite color bishops, so I'm going to take like this. And if knight a4, I play king to d2. And then uh, finally get my light square bishop out. Okay, I have to take like that. And pawn up because I want to play this move. Now let's just go here. I could do a pawn push. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to defend here. There's no time really for black, so I did the a4 move. Let me just take. I did the a4 move just so I could play rook b1 and not have to deal with uh, pawn on b5. But yeah, that was a serious time disadvantage right there. I was getting a bit elaborate with what it is I was wanting to do, forgetting that it's probably just going to end on time. But okay, good game. Let me back up here. This is something that I do reference in. Two different videos. No, no, no. 
just one video about bringing the queen bishops out too early on the black side. Um, game number... Game number two of the World Chess Championship. I talk about that bishop coming out early. So this is a problem now because of queen b3. Maybe it's best at this point after g4 that you bring your bishop back to preserve that pawn, but certainly very, very awkward to have to do that. So the idea here is to not develop that light square bishop on g4 or even f5. Uh, looking into e6 is probably uh, best right here. E6, knight D7, depending on what I do with my B pawn. Again, a lot of this is referenced from uh, the recent, uh, or the, excuse me, the ongoing World Chess Championship.